So it's inevitable that there will be some robust debate and we're not going to all agree and some confusion. But the fact is, I think, that it was a small group that walked out. Most of the, there's 250 people still left in the room and we'll be in a position to show you the out, deliver the outcomes um, tomorrow. Thank you. Pat, Thank you. Oh, sorry, Thank you. Pat, can I just make the point for the journalists here that we have two of the traditional owners here, Mr. Philip Willyuka mm -hmm. and Alison Hunt from uh, Pitengara and the other side, and I might like to say something. Yes, um, my name is Philip Williger. I come from Tichikala community, but my language group is Yangonjara Pichinjara man. I'm connected to Uluru by my mother and mother's side. So I guess what the confusion was about that what we really want, because we live in the Northern Territory with the Hindi government constitution. So, as you all know, that the intervention came across through the government and um, sort of put us back in a welfare system. But I don't want to talk about that. I'd like to talk about the new ways that we are looking forward to, for the government to recognize us as indigenous First Nation people of this mm. Australia, so that apart from being indigenous person of this land, is that we as human beings need to be recognized, not thrown aside and put over rule on us with their constitution laws. We want to, we come to this mid conference here to so have a say and in it, put in a strong position to be recognized. That's the only thing that we are here for in this conference, as we gather from all over the countryside, over this so-called Australia. And um, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, custodians, for allowing the conference to go ahead and be based in a more central area where we can come together as all indigenous people, First Nation people of this country to speak for our rights and to understand us as well as anybody else that's coming across to this world, Australia. And um, apart from that, it is a hard journey that we are going through right now from day one to day two to day three because this our discussion about us being coming together as one voice for us indigenous people and for to send a message out to our white Australian fellow Australians to be recognized in the constitution so that we too can live together as harmony in arm and arm and you know, in a way that we can work together, live together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. This is Alison Hunt. Move over Alison. Good afternoon everybody. So I'm representing my people here today at this conference and I'm also on the board of Uluru Katagiba National Park. So we, we supported this meeting on behalf of our people on their land to have a quiet meeting and to have an opportunity for our people to take to government and white Australians that we are ready and we need support. So I just want to make a statement here. I, as a traditional person of the land, born and bred, very, very disappointed of some people walking out. You are not going to support, you are not going to get nowhere if you do that. 
we got to give government a strong message by tomorrow for the constitution and some people talked about the treaty we have to be united speaking as aboriginal people here meeting today from all over australia with one voice this is a sacred land that you are standing on talking on and we're asking the members to please visitors to respect that and to get a message with us supported by traditional owners of this land to get it to the prime minister that's the only one we got a one last chance to make it happen and we are responsible and we have to be seen as responsible people speaking together. We might have our differences, but at the end of the day, by tomorrow, we have to speak at one to get to the wide Australian, to get the, to the Prime Minister and Opposition Leader. What we want for our people, for our future generation, not arguing and disagreeing and walking out, that is not going to work. So us, representative, me and my brother, for our tribal people, are a little bit disappointed. And we're giving a message. If you want to stay and talk in our country, talk straight, talk strong, and be focused to get the message to the government. Thank you very much. Um, excuse me, just one more. I just want to <coughs> clarify. Um, we are talking about treaty. I guess, you know, this is different, a lot of difference from the state communities. And the message has been has not been going out to our community people about the treaty. I think the government needs to give us more time to consult with our people. Better off not in English, better off in language. And for those people who don't understand the all the elders want to be informed by language through an interpreter. So we have got interpreters in Alice Springs. So we need to use them because while all the people, elders, all the people, you know, they don't understand what treaty is all about. You know, what the constitution is all about. That needs to be explained in in our own language. Because we need some more time out for for consultant to go out and inform our people before we get into a treaty position. Thank you. OK, everybody, we'll issue a statement tomorrow and some of those issues that uncles have just spoken about will be taken up. They have already been, will be taken up in the state and have delivered tomorrow. So thank you all. Right. Okay, we just have to get back into the conference yeah, now, yeah, is that no alright? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Thank you, that was good? Yeah, yeah.